Hey guys, welcome back to another Edit Together Tuesday. In today's video, I'm gonna be answering the question, what do you do when your image is looking a little bit dull and the skin tones are looking a little gray or ashen and you're wanting to add that pop back into them to achieve that light and airy look and those luminescent skin tones that we love without losing all the beautiful detail in the sky, the dress, and the highlights. That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's editing video. I'm gonna be sharing three super easy tips to help elevate your portraits. And before we dive in, I actually have some exciting news to share. As a lot of you know, I really love the light and airy style of photography. I have a lot of videos dedicated to it here on this channel. And I also have a full online course that teaches my natural light shooting and editing system. But the light and airy photography style is something I still get a lot of questions and private messages about. So I decided to put together a full mini video series completely dedicated to this style of photography. What it is, what it isn't, some of the more subtle nuances of shooting and editing in it, and also some of the most common mistakes to avoid. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I'll drop a link in the description below for you to check out after this video. And that said, let's go ahead and dive into Lightroom. So coming into Lightroom, first I'm gonna apply my basic edit. And I have a full editing tutorials if you wanna see how I get to this point. So I'll, I'll link those up in the description. But once we've gotten our basic edit, how we like it, you'll sometimes find that the skin tones or parts of the image are still looking a little gray or dull compared to the rest of the image. And instead of doing a global increase, which is just going to globally brighten the entire image and possibly blow out areas such as the flowers or especially if you have very bright backgrounds. Instead, what we can do is come to the whites and bump this instead. And that's going to bring a little bit of a pop into those skin tones. And what I like to do, a little trick, is holding down the Option key while dragging this to ensure that we're not blowing out any parts of the image that we want to retain. So we can kind of dial it back in so we're not blowing out that image. And then if I take this off, and then back on again, you see it gives that just nice little pop. The second way of achieving this, we'll go ahead and take that back off again, is coming down into curves. I love curves because unlike the sliders in the basics panel, which allow us to edit broad tonal ranges, it allows us to have complete control over the tones we're impacting by setting points along the curve. If you shied away from curves in the past, you're missing out on one of the most powerful tools inside of Lightroom. So I'll link up a video in the description where I really break down curves in a way that's super simple, and I promise it will become your new editing BFF. But for what we're gonna be going for, for luminescent skin tones, is pretty simple. We'll start by setting just a couple control points here, and we're really just going to be lifting in the mid-tones and upper mid-tones where those skin tones are living. And for close-up images, you can even see the pixel data represented visually on the histogram. Right in here is where those skin tones are living. So that's where we're going to lift. So we'll start by lifting in the mids and then lifting right up in there. We can even, if we wanted to, set another control point. And that is looking pretty nice. So I'll toggle this off and back on. And as you can see, it brightens up right in those skin tones really nicely. If we wanted to isolate things even more, we could by bringing down in those whites and just isolating right in those skin tones. But I think that looks really nice for this image. And then the last thing that we can do to really create that luminescent look to our skin tones is come down to the HSL panel. And I have a full tutorial on mastering the HSL panel, but for this, we're just going to be adjusting in the luminance area, which controls the brightness or darkness of a color. And we're gonna come to the color picker tool, bring it over her face, click and drag up. And this selects just in those skin tones. And as you can see, the slider moves according to what colors are in the skin tone. So it adjusted the red just a little bit, but mostly in those oranges. And if we toggle this back off and on again, as you can see, it just really brightens up in those skin tones. I do have a couple adjustments um, and as well as a hue, a subtle hue adjustment already applied as well, but you can really see how it's lifting slightly in those skin tones. And the key to this is to keep it very subtle. You can also layer two or three of these techniques like I did in this image, 
or use them all completely separately depending on the particular image or the aesthetic you're going for. And I find this is especially useful in situations where you have those bright backgrounds or details like bright flowers, a white dress, where cranking that exposure is going to really blow things out. So the key is to keep it subtle so that you can get that refined, bright and airy, luminescent look without losing detail. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did and you wanna learn more about the ins and outs of the light and airy photography style, grab my free light and airy guide below. And I would also love to hear what you think. Be sure to drop a comment to say hey, and I will catch you in the next video.